going on everybody? How are we doing? Today we're going to talk about the iRobot Roomba S9 Plus and its newest update. The newest software update is 3.18.11. Mine updated on September the 8th. And it has a couple of new features I kind of wanted to go over with you guys. So the biggest one that I think that they made, they're trying everything they can do to make this battery last longer. Everybody knows this S9's battery was way too small. And it just does not last long at all, especially if you put this guy on its maximum suction. So one thing they did with this software update, I'm going to have it go clean the furthest away room from this location, and it should not start the vacuum motors until it gets to that room. Yes, that's probably only going to save a little bit of battery, but the fact that they added this and are just doing whatever they can to save even a few minutes worth of battery is a step in the right direction. So we're going to put that to the test real quick. And the other big thing is something they're calling careful drive. And I have that enabled right now. And that's basically almost like an obstacle avoidance. It's supposed to go and clean without touching any objects on the floor. And for them to have technology like that on this specific robot that's well over two years old with no type of front lasers or a front camera. I'm very curious to see how well that's going to work. iRobot definitely has the best software and the best app out there in my opinion for what they can do with just the camera to me is quite impressive. And I also have that new J7 Plus coming. Hopefully that'll be here in the next few days and I'll be fully testing that thing like crazy. Alright, so I have the careful drive enabled and I'm going to show you where I'm going to send this guy. It's, I'm going to send it to the den and on the way I put up some obstacles just to see if it truly will go around them and we'll see if it bumps them at all. I'd be surprised if this completely avoids all this. Let's take a quick look. Let's use some beverage bottles that I have, different colors, a clear water one just in case it has any type of issues with like reflections. Windex bottle, a little pill bottle, and some tape. So I'm going to send it over to this room, and it should not start up the vacuum motors until it gets here. Then we'll watch it clean in here. We'll see if it actually avoids these smaller objects. So let's go ahead and send them out to clean the den. This is actually the first time I've ran this, other than a training mapping run on the new software update. So I have not seen this in person yet. So I really hope this, this thing does what it says it'll do. Notice how the motor is not on. And once again, yeah, that's only going to save you a little bit of battery, but the fact that it'll save you some at all is a big plus in my book. Because if you have this guy on maximum suction, you're going to get like not even 30 minutes worth of battery life. You see it avoided that with no problem. Avoided that, that's cool. So just off those two things that it avoided, that's quite impressive because this does not claim ever to have obstacle avoidance. This is something they've done 100% with just their software. Curious to see if it'll avoid that pill bottle. I have to completely go around it, of course. Wow, I must say, that's quite impressive. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me because this does not have a camera up front or lasers up front like all the other obstacle avoidance robots have. So the fact that it's doing that just with the sensors that it already had a couple of years ago, once again to me that is very very impressive. I'm gonna have to send this guy down to my testing room and see how well it... look at that. That is fantastic. Wow. Oh, don't touch it. Don't touch it. No. Oh. Give it a little kiss. That's not too bad, I guess. A little kiss. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm going to send this back down to my testing room tonight. And I'll put down all the different things. And it's going to include smaller objects that it may not be able to see. So now I'm going to send out to the foyer. And see how well it can avoid a lot of different objects. Once again, this robot was never designed for this. We're coming out to the foyer. You can see I put down a whole bunch of stuff this time. 
random stuff just I just grabbed that I saw. We'll see if it actually touches any of this. I would be shocked if it goes around all this stuff without touching it. I will say, even though I love this robot, and I still think it's a great robot, boy is it outdated. Or I guess, not maybe not outdated, but just, just old, like, they really need to come out with a brand new flagship model. But I still love this robot. <laughs> this thing, for bigger objects, it does exactly. Oh, see how much, see how that was lower. This thing's probably thinking like, how messy can a person be? It definitely works. You know, give that a little tap. This guy's working. Hi right, guys, I just wanted to make a video real quick on that new software update. It does have some new kind of cool features. I wish it worked on smaller objects, but once again, this was not designed whatsoever for any type of obstacle avoidance. But the fact that if it's something bigger, like a can or a bottle, or probably like a pillow or something like that, it's going to avoid it pretty dang well for what it has. Also, I do like the fact that it will shut off the motor before it gets to the room it wants to clean. Once again, that's only going to save 
very small percentage of battery, but I like the fact that they're doing something to help it. Because they know the battery is terrible too. That's my only gripe with this robot vacuum. If this guy had a large battery like say the Roborock S7 and lasted that long on its maximum suction, I would have a very, very difficult choice between this one and that one and which one is the top all around best robot vacuum. This one cleans better, but it just, the battery sucks. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what you thought, if you think it's even worth the update, if you like the features or where they're going with their robots. If you enjoy this video at all, please smash that like button, consider subscribing, and leave a comment below. Once again, I do have the brand new J7 Plus coming. It'll probably be here in the next couple of days, and I will be putting that through probably the most test you've seen me do on this channel of any robot vacuum ever. So I'll probably have five to ten plus videos just on that run one vacuum going over everything that it has to offer. I really hope it's going to be a good robot vacuum. Thanks again for watching and you guys have a fantastic weekend.